bathroom needs some work. We're just going to update it, make it look nice, get everything fresh and new. We got what? mold. We've got mold. Now we are here at Home Depot getting all of our stuff, but here's our first haul. Two, yeah, our first haul. So this is the rock board for the tile, obviously. We're going to the ceiling. Now we got my dad here, he's helping me out. He's kind of the tile master. This is part one. Stay tuned for part two, finishing the rest of the bathroom and the that final result. Great. Welcome to part two of our complete bathroom renovation. This will be the final result, the finished product, but we've still got a lot to do, but we're going to give you guys a quick update and show you the rest of everything we are doing in this video. So as you guys saw in the last video, Logan's dad, Carl, came and helped him get started on tile, and Logan has done a fantastic job at taking over, and- Let's not speak too soon, okay? No, you are doing great. I'm very proud of you. He's a quick learner and he has done the rest of this so far by himself. Tell us how it's going. If you look at my line here on my slitter strip, really good. Levels kept really good throughout. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we are to the double black diamond. Dealing with an exterior corner here. Got these pieces laid inside of the window seal. You have to calculate everything out, so the thickness of the rock board plus the mud plus the tile is this exact thickness, and then on this side, it is the same thickness as shiplap, so those will meet seamlessly. Yeah, so we will have a shiplap wall all over here, which is why that is just broken down into the studs right now. We are going to have black grout, so it's going to get a little messy, but I think it's going to look really good once it's done. And if you watched the last video, we had a plumber come, Troy, thank you Troy. He came over and did all new pipes and valves behind the tile, and we bumped up the shower head. Oh no, and the baby is getting into the mud. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> okay, please hold.
guys just saw us do the ship up wall and Logan did some drywalling over here which I am super proud of him because I don't think he has ever drywalled before and I'm not a professional but I think he did a really good job. Now today I am painting which is really exciting because after I paint Logan can lay the floor and then we can finally put in the toilet and the vanity. So I have all of my supplies down here, I have some primer, I have our ceiling paint brushes, the wall paint, everything. We are just doing it white in here so it's going to look bright and clean. We also um, tried to match the texture to what we already had. It's just like the old popcorn texture so we just got that spray stuff you guys saw and tried to match the texture a little bit. I'm going to get started. The ceiling already has one coat of paint on it but it definitely needs touched up. So I'm going to start on the ceiling and we're going to get started on the paint today. painting today. I think the ceiling is about done. Like I said, it was already painted before. We did it a while ago and so I just added one more coat and I think it should be good. I might just have to go around the tile. My light's going out. <laughs> I might just have to go around the tile one more time around the top edges um, just from where like the grout and the waterproof stuff got onto the ceiling. So I'll do one more coat of that and then I was going to prime this wall and then I realized I couldn't until I could tape the top but I can't tape because the ceiling is wet. So then I went to the shiplap wall which is already primed so you don't have to use a primer, you can just use your paint. But then I remembered that I have to fill my holes with spackle so I did that so I gotta wait for those to dry. So. Might just have to finish it later, but that's where we got today. It's funny because in our first video, if you watched part one of our bathroom remodel, I did like day one, day two, day three, and so on. And that's totally deceiving because we are now on week three of this bathroom. It is definitely taking us much longer than it might seem. So yeah, we're on day like 20 something. It's taking us a while. <laughs> But that's what we did today and now I can finish painting tomorrow or the next day or who knows.
the toilet. Beckham is not happy. Black shirt. This will ensure a proper seal. Okay, this part right here is important. When you're setting this, you want to make sure not to screw it up or you'll be back at the hardware store buying a new wax ring. So line it all up. Okay. Make sure we're square. Compress that guy down. Just like so. And now, we put on the wing nuts, the covers, and the washers. Now these guys are covers. We're out of rubber gasket on the tank. Big day, you guys. Morgan took her first pee. I peed in my new toilet. We have a toilet. I went and got crimpers, crimp rings, um, 90s, discussions, couplers, everything I needed to get the water to the toilet from downstairs and to the vanity. And so, yeah, today was a big day. We have a flushing toilet. And we're, what I'm doing is applying silicone to the lip of the vanity here. We're going to put the countertop on and then I'm going to run the water to the faucet. So we'll have toilet faucet tonight. We've got the supply lines. We're going to put the rest of the fixtures on. We do have like towel holders and racks and the toilet paper thing that we could do. I cleaned off all the tiles so we will get that sealed. And then we have some window tiles to finish. But yeah, we are so close. I'm just so excited that this guy is in. I have a toilet again, 35 days later. Hallelujah. Date. We are thinking that we could have the bathroom totally done either tonight or tomorrow. I got most of the grout cleaned up off of the tiles a little bit. I just used a little bit of acetone and it wiped right off. And then as you guys saw, Logan got it sealed. These I think are basically done. We just have to get, oh I forgot the word, something that goes around that so that we can't see the hole. Logan has some like tile pieces that will finish around the window. So he's going to get that done today, but the rest of the shower is good to go. We are going to go pick out a shower curtain, shower rod, and that will be good. We have one more outlet to change, and then he did get the sink in, and then I did go around and fill all the nail holes, and so I will need to sand all that off, off of all the trim, all the bottom trim, and then do some paint touch-ups. There's a few other places that I need to touch up on the paint. And then we do need to get some door trim. I think he was grabbing that from Home Depot as well. We need to finish the door trim. Um, the vent is, it doesn't fit right now because it's too narrow in this area. So he's going to cut the vent, get that in. 
We actually got this light from Logan's sister Carly. They gave it to us when they were doing their bathroom. They just decided not to use it and we liked it but it um the color was actually like a I think it was considered a bronze but it also had like a little shimmery pink in the light and so I just did one coat of a matte black spray paint turned out really well so thank you Carly and Jackson for the light looks really good in here and then I'll show you what else we are painting today so this is actually out here in our shed I had this mirror and it was actually like a white distressed looking mirror that I've had forever and I was going to sell it and then I realized that it fit perfectly in the bathroom so Logan got crafty and hung it up and he just got done spray painting it with the same matte black as the light fixture and it honestly looks really good I don't know if the camera can tell but it's the perfect size and I think it's going to look really good so we got the mirror painted and then out in the garage I just got done doing the first side of the bathroom door got it a fresh white so I will let it dry and then we will do the other side but we're super close we are finally done we it's did it done. oh my gosh were you so excited complete. yes it took like a month yeah a little over a month we'll just say it took with longer no bathroom no we, shower we no toilet yeah yeah i'm proud of this girl she was a trooper finally blessed her with a toilet and a tub though, so check it out <laughs> actually why don't you Let's go do ahead oh, look at you your cute outfit yeah you look so good okay ready here we go Ooh. it does not even look like the same bathroom no it's well it's everything is new. different everything is brand new so let's just start at the front we have all new flooring I was able to get this transition strip that matched our previous floor really well and it tied it into the new floor really yeah, good do you I like think, this floor yeah I was gonna say I think the new floor ties in well with our previous floor this floor because it has the same it's like the same color tones but just a little bit lighter so we went with the lighter wood um, all white of course new trim new floor ran into a couple speed bumps that people would never guess like I had to cut this vent <laughs> to fit perfectly because this trim I didn't think about it was a little bit thicker than the old trim so we got vent fixed new trim all white if you guys remember there was a giant medicine cabinet here Logan and, drywall uh, for his very first time you guys it's can't, not bad. you can't see on the camera as much as you can in real life there's a couple like, you can if you see look some, really close a little bit of tape lines but what we had to do was spray texture to match the old texture and I think it came out really well and there was also a giant strip that I had to do here of drywall because when we were removing the tub it tore out a piece. Let's move to the sink. You guys remember us picking this up if you saw part one we got this from Home Depot and it came stock with chrome door poles mm -hmm. and so we picked out some black ones and just swapped them but I like the way that turned out. I like the black accents more. Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of the one piece sinks mainly because yeah. it's easier to set and so that turned out really nice so I was really stoked on how this turned out it works it does work Logan as you did can a see. great job plumbing look at all this plumbing down here so we took the old copper out and I swapped it for PEX um, and instead of coming out of the wall I like it better when it comes out of the ground so we got all new PEX these are full metal shutoffs which won't break or corrode over time. Super easy to turn off and on if you need to work on the sink. New P-trap. Yeah, it looks just a lot cleaner yeah, and yeah. nicer. And then below deck, underneath in the joists, is all new pecs as well. And then, as you guys saw, Logan repainted my old mirror. This was just a white mirror, so we repurposed it, spray painted it in a matte black, which matches everything else, and it turned out really good. So we have this new mirror. And then the light that Logan's sister Carly gave us, I just spray painted that the same and it turned out really good. Yeah, I think you did a great it. job. Thank you. Looks really good. Yeah. So shiplap you guys saw as well. All the trim around All the that. trim, yeah. Uh, new toilet, so same deal here. Instead of out of the wall, I pulled it from the ground. All new tile, as you guys saw the whole process. My dad helped me out tremendously getting started. This is my first tile job. Yeah, it looks awesome. I've ever done. Really, everybody that sees it says that it looks really good. So it does. You guys have me convinced that I did an okay job. You did. That's great. <laughs> it looks really good. Ran into a few problems. Um, first tile job, and I went to attack an interior window, which uh, actually was not as hard as I thought. Got all the tile in, found this trim piece that I really like. I still need to put a little black caulk right here. Uh, I'll use the same caulk that I used in the corners and along the tub. If you've ever worked with caulk before, 
um, you run your bead, and then a lot of the times you can put like a Windex or dish soap and water and just run your finger down it. That does not work so well with black caulk. How did my first caulk line look? A little messy. <laughs> we had to redo a few, well you had to redo yeah. a few areas, but you clean it up. I got really scared. I did, my first line was back here and it looked terrible. <laughs> so I said, let that dry. And then I had this instant idea to get painter's tape and just do lines, space it out well. I ran the bead down and I actually had a really cool caulk tool that uh, helped it apply really evenly. And then I peeled the tape off, saw that it worked. So the next day I was in here with a utility knife and a scraper scraping out all that old caulk, but it turned out great. You'll run into these little hiccups yeah, and bumps. there's always little things here and there, but It'll it looks never, really good. Never go just smooth. Yeah. You always run into something. So yeah. also did trim up and around the roof. I used a PVC trim, which is a plastic based trim, which I thought it would be a good idea because this area is going to see a lot of moisture. Uh, matched that trim to the trim around the tub. We are not completely done decorating. We're going to get, I, I think I want to hang some like pictures or like a big piece of artwork right here just for something. And then like some little plants and shelves, like add some color in here. But I like it right now and it turned out really good. Yeah. Um, got the shower curtain rod from Home Depot. Yeah. really like that. It's just a friction rod because I don't want to drill through the tile. Also, we were going in the first video in part one, I talked about how we were going to talk about budget a little bit and what we spent to redo the bathroom. And our budget was about 2000 and I think we kind of lost track along the way, but we definitely mm -hmm. went over that. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I think we mentioned it earlier. We ran all of our stuff through a bid room at the Home Depot, which was free to do. You just had to spend over 1500 which... If you're doing a big project, yeah. make sure you do that because that saved us so much money. So yeah. when we did that first huge Home Depot haul, it really was... We didn't spend as much as we no. thought we would that day. We, we were got, like, oh, that's not bad. And we got all the big stuff. We honestly, I remember, I still have the paperwork, but I think we saved like $600. Yeah. And I think it was only, the total was only like 12 Yeah, well, I was blown for away. For like all the big stuff. Like the toilet, the vanity, like everything. Everything. I got deals on a lot of stuff. So yeah. it wasn't just one trip to Home Depot. I guarantee yeah. you I did at least 30 trips to Home Depot. Yeah, and that's what keeps adding up because we didn't think about it, but along the way we kept having to buy like different tools and yeah. things just like add up and you don't think of some things that you have to buy. So I bet overall we probably spent close to 3000 I would guess around 31 total. So three, yeah, yeah. close enough. Probably pretty close. So yeah, I just had to keep running back like, oh, I need these screws. Oh, I need the silicone. Oh, I need black caulk now. Oh, we need tile sealer. Oh, we need this, that. It's never a one and done when doing a big project like this, but I think it turned out really well. Pretty proud of myself and pretty proud of my wife. You did really good. For uh, He did this entire bathroom. We did, I mean, yeah. we had some help from his dad but, yeah. and Troy, our plumber, but really he did such a good job. You and did like everything in here. Yeah, from demo to, I remember demo day was like, what am I getting myself into? But it's fun to do these projects because when you yeah. when you start getting close to the end, when we had basically everything done and we carried the vanity in for the first time, it was just really cool to see that. And then I brought the sink, set it on, and I was like, dang, this is gonna look good. So. Yeah, it's fun to see it all come together and piece together. So does not even look like the same room in here. We are so happy with how it turned out. If you have not seen part one, we started from the very beginning. So go watch part one. It will be linked down below. Thank you guys for watching our part two bathroom remodel. Total 70s transformation. Turned out amazing. Logan did such a good job and we'll see you guys on the next one.